this short video, let's discuss the etiquette of afternoon tea at the Chateau de Fleur. If you've been to tea in any big city, especially London, to the Dorchester or the Savoy or the Ritz, um, every place is different. The first thing is the napkin. And of course, when you uh, sit down, um, if there's a group, uh, you wait for the ladies to sit first. And if you're a gentleman, you'd pull out the chair. And once the ladies are seated, you make sure the napkin goes onto the lap, not on the neck. Okay, let's talk about a few small details that um, aren't a big deal, but um, it's good to talk about them. Um, and a lot of people think that this is high tea. And indeed, it is not high tea, it is afternoon tea. High tea is more of a meal around five o'clock in the evening, early evening. So it's really a meal with meat, potatoes, etc. Uh, this is afternoon tea. Um, so if someone says, are you going for afternoon tea? This is what this is. If it's high tea, it's a meal, so it is different. Most people think that you hold the cup, and I can't even do it, with the pinky out. That is not how you hold the tea, especially with the small handles. You actually grasp the tea with all your fingers, like this. If you happen to have uh, sugar cubes, you have to be very careful how to stir the tea. Now normally, when you have tea or coffee, you stir in a circular motion, but if you do that with a lump of sugar in there, it has a tendency to roll outside the, the cup of the lid. So um, you go north and south and you don't clang and do that either. It's all nice and quiet and gently put it down. That's not very gentle. Ah, oh, now if we want to get really particular, somebody asked about, do I pick up the saucer and the cup together and traditionally no but if you are sitting at a very low table this is quite a high table so it's not necessary but if you are sitting at a lower table then it is appropriate to lift the saucer together like this but traditional tables are usually a pretty good height so that's not necessary Here's a very simple question um, a lot of people do. They will grab their milk, not cream, and they will put the milk into the cup first, and then they'll pour the tea. That is not how you do it. You always pour the tea after it's steeped first, and follow up if you use milk at the end, and then you stir. So always do the tea before the milk. I'm not going to break into this, but I'm going to demonstrate to you. Um, we're going to grab a scone. Let's have a, a plain scone here. Now, um, these are very small. We're actually going to make them a little larger, I've been told by the executive chef, Frank, uh, maybe twice or three times the size. So these are very small. So normally when they're a little big, um, some people will get a knife and slice like they're cutting a bagel in half. That is not how you do it. What you do first of all is, um, especially when there's a group of uh, people on the table, is that you grab two things, the clotted cream. You put a certain amount of clotted cream on the side of the plate, put it back, and then you grab the preserve or jam or whatever you have that's similar, and you put it next to it. Okay, you don't put it directly onto the bread. There are two things you can do. You can break it open in half, if you feel comfortable, or some people, will break a little piece off and then with the knife from your own plate you put a little butter or a little of the clotted cream and the jam on the table and then you eat a bit at a time. You do not lather it on, put it together and eat it like a hamburger. That's not how you eat it, okay? But you can have it in two slices, that's perfectly fine if we're talking etiquette. Now I've given you some tips and some etiquette. Please join us at the Chateau de Fleur. Uh, with tea, afternoon tea. We'll be doing it on a regular basis. And uh, like I said, the selection is going to rotate and uh, we really look forward to seeing you. Reservations are highly advised as we pretty much sell out every time. Well, I think that's about uh, enough talking from me. So it's time to have a little tea. So uh, again, if you'll excuse me, I'll have some tea and uh, we look forward to seeing you very soon. Have a good day.